All right, so here's what we're going to be making. It's a yin yang. You can print them out, two colors, the way that we're going to design them. And it's going to be really good practice for this key up here called the align button. We're only going to be using cylinders and the align button to make this thing. So let's get started. I'm going to move this example one off to the side and pull a cylinder in. Now, I see a lot of students make the mistake. Of they try to resize their cylinders by dragging this, which makes a lot of sense. However, a, a better way is to hold the shift key and pull it to the size you want. And in this case, an even better way to make this the right size would be to click. All you do is you click on this white square here and you select this. I'm gonna type 35. I'm gonna make it a cylinder with a radius of 35. And I'm just gonna lower this down quite a ways. Now, we need to have a, another cylinder around the outside. <clears throat> And in this case, I want it to be a perfect circle that has a diameter of 100. So I clicked on this white box down here, and I'm typing 100 in. I'm typing 100 in down here in this bottom measurement, and I'm going to type 100 in this side measurement as well. So 35 was the first one, and 100 is the second. Now you can see that this 100, it's not very round. It's got all these flat edges. That's because of this slider here. If I take it down to 12 sides, it's even worse. I want that to have as many sides as possible to make it as round as it can be. So now that I've got my two cylinders, the center one, which is also kind of blocky looking, I'm going to make that one round and turn it into a hole. Now here's the thing, I need the hole to be exactly in the middle of this hole, of this cylinder. So what I'm going to do is highlight both of them. It's very important that you highlight both of them. And you're going to hit the align key. The align button up there, it, it's going to line it up according to these dots. Remember I had to highlight both of them. And now it says, do I want to right align it, center align it, or left align it? Well, I want to get it in the center. And do I want to top align or center or bottom align? Well, I want to get it center and center. And now that that is locked into place, I can group these. So that is the first part of this problem that we have. Great. I'm going to hide this for now. So now that we have the first <coughs> circle made, what we need to do is duplicate this thing. We're going to get a second one that's lining up just right on this side. Now there's no trick to doing this, except if you hit the duplicate button. I'm holding the shift key right now, and you can see how it's sliding exactly. And it'll either go horizontal exactly or vertically, now that I'm holding the shift key. And I want to just drag it over until it's at 100. Now those are just barely touching. They're, they're tangents to each other. What, we, what we're going to have is the, the shape very soon. And what we need, last of all, I'm going to make this a different color so we can see it better, is we need the circle that goes around the, the entire outside. So I'm going to click here, and this one is going to be 200 by 200. So you can see it's blocky, so I'm going to take the sides all the way up. And what we should be able to do here is see that, okay, this is going to line up the way we want it. To make sure that it's perfect, I'm going to highlight the left two, hit the align button, and make sure that they are left aligned. All right. I'm going to highlight these two, hit the align button, make sure that they are right aligned. It already is, since the button is grayed out. 
That tells me that that is perfectly in the center. They're, they're all exactly the shape. And you can already see the shape we're going for. This green area plus this orange cylinder is going to make one part of our yin-yang shape. So this shape, we have this cylinder plus that green part, and then it's the exact same shape over here. So what we need to do is get rid of half of this and leave it as a whole while we keep the other half. Well, to do this, I am going to get rid of this green side. This side is going to be a hole, and we will have to manually remove this top half. So I have a box here. It's going to be all the way across. I want it to be 100 tall like this and we need to have the box just barely go off the end of this side because the box is 100 wide right here this big green circle is 200 and so if we align it on the edge here now that box is covering up exactly the top half of this the top half of this green circle. So I'm going to go ahead and group the box and the green circle together. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of this little bit of green circle right here. Okay, because this orange cylinder is going to remain and be merged with this. I need to get rid of that little bit of the green circle. So here's a little trick for when you need to um, take, a, take a bite out of something, but you don't want to harm the thing around it. I'm going to hide this cylinder for the moment. Here's the hide button. Now that that is gone, I can group all of these together. When I unhide, here's the button for showing everything, what happens is everything that was hidden will show back up. So you can see that we were able to make this half of the yin yang. You can see the mistake I made was that I should have filled in over here. So I'm going to go ahead and undo until I'm back to where I'll hide this again. I was here and I was going to get rid of this. At the same time what I should have done was fill in this area right here so that this circle can take a bite out of all of it at the same time. So I'm erasing this little bit of green and I'm adding to this little bit of green over here. The square that I put in there is going to be the exact same height as this green square. So I've got this set at 2. It means I'm going to take this one at 2 as well. And now that those are exactly the way I want them, I'm going to go ahead and rehide circle. I'm going to move this out of the way once and for all. Okay, because now when I group all of these and I show my circle. Now these pieces are ready to be put into one final piece. It looks like I mistakenly didn't have my square large enough there. Yep. So let's make that a little bit bigger. Hide this piece. Group it again. So that when I show that piece, 
we have exactly what we want to keep. To finish it off, simply need another cylinder that's going to go underneath. Well, before I do that, I want to group these so that they are one color. Do you see how there's a line here? What happened was there are two different heights. I've got the green set at two, and I had this orange set at three. So I'm going to take the orange down to two. And now that they are the exact same height, I group them into one smooth shape. My final cylinder, <coughs> which I'll make white, is going to replace that first green one. 200 by 200. I want it to have a smooth sides. I will take it down to one millimeter thick. And since I grouped all of the orange together, I simply need to highlight both of these. Hit the align button one last time. Align them on the bottom and the center. So there you have it, the yin yang. Now this example one that I made has a black border around the outside. To make that was simply 205, making it slightly larger, 205. Got to make the height less than 1. So I will click on the height button here and change it to 0.75. I'll make it round, black. Now if I try to align, I'll show you what happens. If I hit the center align, that will shift up this piece because I have I did not group them. So I'm going to click undo. I'm going to get this out of here for a second. I'm going to group these together. You can see I lost my colors. I'm just going to head over. I clicked on the color, the white color here, and I'm going to go back to multicolor. So it gives me my orange back. Now I can highlight the two of these. Use the align button to hit it center, center. And now I have a perfectly made yin yang. If you were to 3D print this, 3D printing it in two colors is not as difficult as you might think. All we did was look at how many layers thick this bottom layer was, the lower, lower one. We set the design to be a few, uh, probably a millimeter thicker than that. And you can see that our printer paused so that we could change the filament from black to green. And it finished in green. You can manually pause it or you can have it uh, stop automatically at a height. If you just Google it, you can find out how to do that. Hope this was helpful. See you later.